I'm trying to get more into football this year. I'm actually more of a soccer fan, though. Do we have any soccer fans in the crowd? Okay, that's huge. That never happens. We hate soccer in this country in such a major way. I think it's because it doesn't really line up with our ideals as Americans, right? That's what our football is for. American football is very us, you know? Just like, big, violent, give me the land you're standing on, right? Very American. <laughs> Soccer's not like that, right? Soccer's about precision, finesse, right? The beautiful game, the jogo bonito. <laughs> but I think a lot of Americans don't like it because it's very theatrical, right? There's a lot of flourish to the game. But that, to me, is the best part. Like, have you ever seen a ref deliver a card in soccer? It's gorgeous. <laughs> they just, like, gallop up. <laughs> <laughs> this is a yellow card for being naughty. <laughs> If you are naughty again, my card becomes red, and red means you are out! <laughs> Go off, Project Runway. <laughs> it is crazy, though, how much we hate soccer, because the U.S. is actually really good. I don't know if you guys knew this, but the U.S. national team has actually won four Olympic golds and four World Cups. It's pretty amazing, right? The reason you didn't know that is because it was the women's team who did it. <laughs> And if there is one thing this country hates more than soccer, <laughs> it's lesbians. Uh, speaking of hating women, uh, I am Arab. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, uh, only a halfsy though. Only a halfsy. <laughs> I am uh, Eastern Orthodox, Lebanese, and Russian Jewish, but I grew up in the suburbs of Boston, so I do have a very strong white woman rising. <laughs> I, know. I can make a mean baklava, but I have been to Coachella. <laughs> so I got an Ancestry account. I wanted to learn a little bit more about my family history, and I ended up finding this incredible document from when my great-grandparents came over here from Lebanon in 1902. And when they got here on the immigration papers, they actually marked themselves as white, which I thought was insane, because I don't think of my great-grandparents, Telji and Nasif Khalil, uh, <laughs> as being like white Americans, right? <laughs> but I think what happened is they came here to the US in the early 1900s, and they looked around and they were like, this is how you treat your brown people. <laughs> we are white. <laughs> we are white, we are white. Yalla, Habibti. Officer, this is my white wife, Susan. And uh, these are our boys, Chase and Shane, yes. My beautiful white boys love to do crimes with zero repercussions. <laughs> And over here is our lovely daughter, Alison. She is 15. She is good age for you, sir, huh? <laughs> yes, I give her to you fair price, huh? <laughs> Just kidding, we are white. I do not give you my daughter. <laughs> hey, you come to dinner sometime. You bring your spices. We have none. We are white. <laughs> oh, ruffled some white feathers in here. <laughs> you guys are like... We've heard of black pepper. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> they were an interesting couple, my great-grandparents. They, uh, they came over here in 1902, and they had 13 kids, which is too many <laughs> for one puss, okay? <laughs> That's a real Humpty Dumpty situation, you know? It's not coming back together again. <laughs> I can't even, 13? Uh, she birthed a mid-sized startup. Uh, I just, just like one after the other, like she's closing a bunch of apps, you know? <laughs> but I've been thinking a lot about it, right? I've been thinking a lot about my great-grandma's puss. And um, I don't think that we have enough of an appreciation for the toughness of vaginas and everything they go through, right? I just, I think we just look at them as just like, just like delicate flowers, you know? Just a Georgia O'Keeffe watercolor painting. <laughs> They're not, okay? They are Marines, all right? Special forces, black ops. Constant beatings, swamp environment, amphibious warfare once a month, okay? <laughs> oh, your dick hurts if I tap it? <laughs> You ever 
taking out a super plus tampon at the end of your flow? Just dry cotton scraping your walls on the way out. You just gotta bear down, wrap a finger around the string and pull with everything you have. And the whole time you're like, I'm still making less! <laughs> just me here. <laughs> it is so crazy having a vagina. It really is. It's such an insane piece of equipment. <laughs> like, I had my yearly physical a couple weeks ago. I had to pee in a cup, and um, <laughs> I can't believe that in 2023 we don't have better technology for that. <laughs> you want me to point and shoot with this thing? <laughs> and you want me to get it into a cup the size of a Monopoly top hat? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's give it a shot. Um, it is such an insane process that I am going to demonstrate. Um, <laughs> all right, so first things first, do not break eye contact with me, all right? <laughs> it's me and you now, all right? Don't look down, you don't look at him, I'm your mommy now, all right? <laughs> all right, so first things first, you gotta stance up, right? Which is either gonna be sort of this runner's lunge or just like your classic squat. But either way, it's a lot of quad strength, a lot of core engagement, right? <laughs> And then you gotta get your pee stream to the exact right Goldilocks speed. Cause if it's too weak, it'll just trickle down the side of your leg, goes into your pants, you got wet leg for the rest of the day. Nobody needs that, right? But if it's too strong, it'll just go like cockeyed at a 90 degree angle. And then you're wiping piss off the walls. That's a whole disaster scene too. All right. So you got your pee stream going and then you have empty cup in hand. And now it's a game of double dutch, right? Now it's like a one, a two, a three, right? And if all the stars align, you'll have it for a second. It's going in, it's just like beautiful moment. Moment, it feels like you're riding a bike for the first time, right? <laughs> you're just like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And then inevitably, one of your lips goes rogue and is like, psych! <laughs> Pee everywhere, labels soaked. You just gotta gift it to a nurse. Like, <laughs> Tessa's for ketones, I guess. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I'm Alex Kimmon. <laughs>